One of the easiest and most cost-effective ways to brand yourself and communicate your message is through your business card. This short recorded presentation will help walk you through the basics. Before we talk about what should go on your card, let's discuss the two basic options for obtaining your business cards. You can either go through your Synergy Worldwide back office or use an independent provider to print your business cards. Let's start with your back office. You can log in directly from the Synergy Worldwide website or you can log in at Synergy Pulse by using this URL. If you don't remember your Synergy ID number or password, then contact your country's customer support department and they can provide you with this information after you verify your identity to them. For the United States and Canada, the current customer support number is 1-801-769-7800. Once in your back office, you will see a toolbar across the top. Hover your cursor over the Resources icon and a drop-down menu will appear. Then click on Sales Tools and this will redirect you to Sound Concepts. Synergy Worldwide is contracted with them to provide you with sales tools like business cards that are branded to Synergy Worldwide. Here is where you will end up and this is the URL if you want to bookmark this information for future use. Once you're on this site, click on Custom Print. This will take you to the following page on their website. You then want to click on Business Cards. Once on this page, you'll have 10 different business card templates to choose from. Pick the one you like the best and then click on it. Follow the prompts to fill in your information. Review the final design and make sure your information is completely accurate then go to checkout to pay and complete your order. The other option for your business cards is to work with another provider who will print your cards. We like Vistaprint and here is their URL. It's easy to set up an account, their prices are extremely competitive and you have greater flexibility in customizing the look and feel of your card. Once you've established the look and feel of your card, you can also carry your design into other business products like return labels and magnets to help brand yourself and your message. Now let's talk about the information that should go on your business card. I'm going to use the business card that Salvo designed as my example. It's very clean and professional and it covers many of the decisions you're going to need to make in the design of your business card. First, he clearly identifies himself at the top of the card. If you have a title like PhD or MD or something that indicates a level of expertise, then add this to your name. Second, he has branded himself as a wellness coordinator. Two words that convey a message. The first is wellness. He is interested in improving the overall wellness of the people he comes in contact with. The second word is coordinator because he is going to coordinate information to make sure that his clients obtain the information that directly speaks to their wellness concern. We would suggest the use of the word coordinator over consultant because the word consultant indicates a higher degree of formal education and knowledge which may not be appropriate for each individual. And we believe your success comes through the use of resource tools to help educate your potential customer, client, business builder in seeing how Progen Plus can aid them in their cardiovascular wellness. Third, Salvo has listed the URL to his website. You have multiple choices for a replicated website. There is the replicated website offered through Synergy Worldwide and Sound Concepts. You can access this information in your Synergy Worldwide back office by clicking on the My Synergy icon. You also have access to the replicated website offered through Scott Norton, which can be found at argininesolutions.com forward slash angels. Fourth, Salvo is active on Facebook and social networking. He has a page on Facebook entitled The Secret to Cardiovascular Health. He uses this medium to communicate his message and brand himself. If you have an active Facebook page, then add it to your business card as it creates additional exposure for you. Fifth, you need to make sure your contact phone number is on your card. You may want to consider having an 800 number depending upon how you're marketing yourself. I market on the internet, so I use an 800 number to make it easy for people to contact me. This allows a person anywhere in the United States of America, Canada, and throughout the world to get in touch with me. 
It's an extra expense to operate your business, but there are reasonable packages that make this cost effective. The company that I would recommend for an 800 number is freedomvoice.com. You also want to have your email address on your business card so that people can contact you via the internet. And Salvo added a nice touch with the Heart Healthy logo from Synergy. You can find this logo in your back office by hovering over Resources and then clicking on Images. You can download this image so that you can use it on your business card. Before we talk about the back of Salvo's card, I want to mention the items that were missing, which you might want to consider. Your address. Add this only if it adds value to your card in helping your customers find you. Unless you're having people come pick up products at your home, then I would leave this off your business card. We live in a virtual and internet world, and these address locations are more important than your physical address. Twitter and Skype names. These are only of value if this is your preferred form of communication. I wouldn't recommend having your Twitter name on your card because it's such a limiting form of communication. Facebook is much more important for social networking communication. However, your Skype name can have value if this is an active form of communication for you. For just a few dollars more, you can make good use of the back side of your business card. In the example we're showing, Salvo added six benefit statements to help create interest. My only comment here is to make sure your benefit statements are in compliance with the approved marketing statements from Synergy Worldwide. Make sure you do not use words like cure, prevent, and proven. In your Synergy Worldwide back office, under resources, you can click on forms. This page contains a list of PDFs, and in the bottom section, you'll find approved marketing statements, one for ProArgent Plus and one for Dr. J. Joseph Prendergast. One final thought about business cards. Here is the URL to Scott Norton's website. In an integrated marketing system for lowering your blood pressure in 90 days or your money back. In this marketing system, Scott has tied all the marketing pieces together into one congruent strategy. It's worth checking out, and the business card Scott provides for this marketing strategy is very competitive in price. If you have any questions in this area, then please contact the person who showed you this recorded presentation. Or you can contact us at the Synergy Co-op. We're here to help you build a successful Synergy business as we all work together to save millions of lives from the number one killer of men and women worldwide, which is cardiovascular disease.